Hey everyone, this is Kai and this is Kelvin. Yeah, both right. from WCC. Yeah. Uh, and today we're gonna do a more fun video than what we normally do. Where instead of doing deck profiles, we're gonna review old sets because nostalgia works every time, right? Everything's a reboot now. Even the V series is a reboot. There's reboot movies, so nostalgia clearly works. So we're gonna try and get some views. Just reviewing all sets. Everyone likes like top tens, right? So yeah, this, Ray, is, Ray, guys, this is Vanguard of all time. Yeah. So this is this is how the great story of Vanguard begins. Yeah. So if you weren't there back then, uh, you can learn about how old sets were and how broken or unbroken they were. And then if you did play, this is just some good times for nostalgia. So let's get started. Let's go back to the beginning. Yeah. Set one. Descent of the King of Knights. So we're going by the Japanese release order, so it's in order. It's not the English one where they kind of mix things around because <laughs> set five was too broken. But yeah, set one, Descent of the King of Knights. How good was it? Well, first of all, mm. if you've started Vanguard now, you'll know that sets are very organized, structured, and make sense. Mm. Back then, not so much. In this set, there were a lot of clans. There were a lot of clans. There were Royal Paladins, Kagero, those were the big ones, yep. Oracle Think Tank. Nova Grappler. Yeah, that, that sounds good, right? Then there was also Tachikaze. A few clans that can't really be played at that time. Yeah, well, you can. You can. Tachikaze, Nubatama, Dark Irregulars, Spike Brothers, <laughs> Cram Flu, and Mega Colony. Yeah, that's like... So <laughs> that's the crazy part. Back then, you can make, actually make these clans work yeah. by mixing it with other clans. For example, you can have... Um, a Grumbler deck with um, 40 Royal Paladin cards. Yeah, so you can say you're playing a Nubatama deck and run like a Dreadmaster, yep. and that's it. And then like, just run a <laughs> Royal Paladin crits, everything. There was no restrictions, no such thing at the time. You could just do whatever. So they released a lot of clients here, but a lot of them weren't complete. They didn't have any triggers, and they just had like one or two cards. Um, but some, there were some really good cards in the set. This is the mm -hmm. first set of Vanguard they released. King of Knights Alfred. Yep. Yeah. That was like the card that doesn't really need boosting, can always be 20k. Yeah. It was really broken back then. Everything yeah. was 10k. It, it, it didn't need boost. And like, yet had Counter Blast 3 call card. That was... Yeah. Of oh, your <laughs> choice. Your choice. It yeah. was on a random plus. Back then you used two effects per game, mm -hmm. and that was it. You, you were done. You were done. You had Barkle as well. Mm -hmm. That was... That got put on the restriction list later on. It was pretty good for a while, and because yeah. um, you can mix clans back then, people use it for your everything. Creations. Yeah, you, you never, you, well, you, you, ne you never hit, you never miss riding grade two. That's true. everything can ride a barkle. Yes, run barkle. Yeah, so, and then you had other starters like Lizard Soldier Conro. Mm. Now that 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 Let's was amazing for a while. Yeah. Well, it's still now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> such a good card. And then you had like some of the other clans had janky cells like Bowriser oh. and Lazenji Vegas. So they didn't actually have any good starters like Conro or Barkle because you just run Barkle. Mm -hmm. But you had these starters that were just triggers and they just go back to your deck. Yep, Lazenji was pretty good. Frees up one slot in your deck at that time. Yes, yes, it, Quite it does. Valuable. You only had to run sixteen grades zero instead of seventeen. Other cards were Seo Amaterasu. That was that was a pretty was, good card. Yeah, and then you had like. Really meme cards, right? Okay, Aleph, embodiment go. of victory Aleph. <laughs> 10k base, counter blast 4, four. plus 3k. And, and a then, crit! It's also a crit, so you had a regard with a crit. And then you had the choice, also you could, if you soul blast specific cards in your soul, you could unflip your entire damage Ooh. zone. So that was crazy. You, you had... can use the effect twice. <laughs> that was amazing, not really. No, yeah, you could, you could counter blast for twice, all right? <laughs> That was unthinkable. You have to heal three times before you can do that normally. <laughs> yeah. And then you had other meme cards like Mr. Invincible with oh, Mega yeah. Blast effects. Right? <laughs> Counter Blast 5, Soul Blast 8. To you stand three. your whole field when it hits. Yeah, when it hits. Man, these cards were, these cards were really jank. Okay, so let, let's give this a rating. Let's give this a rating. What, what do we rate this set? Okay. Uh, um, well, it, it is the start of Vanguard. Yeah, you have to give what, this a high rating, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so we, we owe this set for everything that kept going to if, if this set did not exist or it was terrible, <laughs> Vanguard would not exist. So I think on, on the time of its release, it's like, I'd give it a solid 8. I'll give it a solid 8 as well. That eight. sounds very, very fitting. Yeah, and then... Oh, and there's one more card we didn't discuss. It is also the set that gets Dreadmaster. Yeah, yeah, Dreadmaster, yes. 
<laughs> so that <laughs> gets used quite a while after that. At that in time, Nubatama, really when, when Nubatama finally got released, yes, yeah. it, 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 they, release. it, it was, it, Discard was too broken back <laughs> in the day, and then Vanguard got more broken, so Discard was okay balance. now. Yeah, that's why you have Rinse. Play, <laughs> play Nubatama. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, on release, it's like we're agreeing it's like an 8. Yes. Over time, some of these cards are still used, right? Mm-hmm. Alfred, Conroe, Barkle. Barkle, yeah, you can see that around. Uh, <laughs> Well. Dreadmaster. <laughs> I think it's like probably like an eight or a seven. I'll probably uh, give it like a. I'll give it more credit. I'll give it an eight. Okay, I'll, I'll probably give it a seven. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good, in in the big scheme of things. Now now let's move on to booster yeah, pack two. Right. Onslaught of the Dragon Soul. So big cards in this set. Or we'll, we'll go through the clans first. It's, it's another jumble of of huge clans. We've got Kagura again, Tachikaze again. <laughs> Spike Brothers, again. <laughs> a lot of these are just repeated. Grand Blue, Royal Paladin, Oracle Think Tank, Nova Grappler, Bermuda Triangle. This is the beginning Whoa. of Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> Set two, Bermuda. <laughs> Mega Colony. I think from now on, you're going to see Mega Colony in every single yeah. set release. And Great Nature. So, <laughs> in this set, Great Nature was like, you only got two cards of Great Nature. So you like, stop. you got to stop somewhere. Yeah. But this set was actually pretty pretty insane, right? Mm. You had Soul Saver Dragon. It was game breaking at that time. There was no way you can guard it. Yeah, and then well, it's like some clans don't even have nulls. <laughs> well, and then you got some like S- Spike Brothers got yep. some cards. Yeah, really like, S- <laughs> Skydiver, General Z, come on man. And then yet a yeah, Sp- Cut- Spirit Exceed was pretty nice card. Spirit, yeah, so this set also had a lot of like superior rides. So like which was like cool back then, you minus yourself the superior ride. Now you're like, who cares? <laughs> yeah. Maybe in premium you're like, wow, I can't wait to play Blazing Flare Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you got those cards, Spirit Exceed. Uh, some of these, so some of these old, like these small clans, mm. got some more support, so they become playable. Like yeah, Spike Brothers and Grand Blue. Then you got some crazy cards like Akane oh, yeah. to get your Pongle to get and your Soul Saver. That was so <laughs> crazy. You can just like build up your Soul Saver. And Spike, Not- yeah, Spike's also get Mega Trainer in this. Oh set yeah, too. That, that, that that get used for the, a lot. Conroe clone. Yeah. Un- unfortunately, Kagura wasn't as broken, so they didn't <laughs> ban this card later on. Oh, you get Gatling Claw. Yeah, you get Gatling Claw. They- Actually, this set has a lot of good low rarity cards. If you look through them, you yeah. have things like Gatling Claw, Mega Trainer, Margul was pretty popular <laughs> back then. <laughs> And yeah. Psychic Bird and Rough Sea Banshee, yeah. yeah. Dancing Cutlass, that was really <laughs> popular when Night Rose came out. And uh, it cost a it was, fortune too. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty hard to find in English, so, especially. Coco became used later on. Oh, yes. And they had Ruin Shade. Ruin Shade. <laughs> <laughs> Start of it. Yeah, so pretty good cards, mm. I'd have to say. Pretty good. Surprisingly, everyone remembers set one. They don't remember set two. Uh, you got like more touchy cards and more great yeah. nature, but. <laughs> You got Bermuda. It's, it's Bermuda. This is yeah. the start of Bermuda. Oh, man. Yeah, so I don't know. This this set, when you actually look at it, it seems pretty good now. It actually seems pretty good. On release, I'll probably give it like I'll give I'll it a seven. I'll probably give it an eight. 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 Like okay. It's, I get the Soul Saber. Yeah. Uh, then over time, like, over time, this set, this set over time, I think goes pretty well. Yeah. Like you've got these really nice commons. Like even though they're common. You don't want you, to pay, like, a lot of money for a common. And that's what some of these became, right? Like Some of these cards are actually hard to find by the time you need it. Yeah. So, it was pretty sought after. I'll give it an 8 of all time. I think 8 sounds correct. Yes. 8 sounds correct. Booster pack to 8 over time sounds mm. really good. Okay, okay. So, that's it. Let's move on to set 3. Now, set 3. Demonic Lord Invasion. Hmm. What do you think? The more, this is like the edgy set. Uh, <laughs> Dark Irregulars, uh, yeah. Because a lot of players Hell started Moon. playing here. Really? That Man. brought a bit of people. I guess. There's like a lot of, there's like Pale Moon Tax, Shadow Moon Tax. Mm-hmm. So it had Robert, that was like, okay. Yeah. I mean, it, was like, it was like Pale Moon, it was like CEO, yeah? And Mon was a meme. Still a meme. Mon? Mon is still Vampire? <laughs> still Vampire? Oh yeah, still Vampire. Oh, yeah, so once again, that. Royal Paladin, I think, cashes in in the set. Oh, yes. Palamedes, Palamedes and Toy Frugal. Yep. So that was always when you start hitting 21 on Regard, that was so bonkers. And, and 22, and then Royal gets its third set of crit, so it's it's pretty good. But, but, you can't skip the most important card of the set, Tsukuyomi, was <laughs> when... Yeah, this is, this is the Tsukuyomi set. Really went crazy. 
Like it's, the only good kind. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, yes. Like, when you crack this set, you want to crack Tsukuyomi. The great two, the great three. That's what you want. So this set also had like the uh, interesting writing at Galahad, mm -hmm. which actually became... You could use it when Barkle got restricted. <laughs> so you, you'd run everything except the great three. You yes. just run the one and two, and it just kind so of... So you great for one, great, great zero, great one, great two, and yeah. you go... Ride your Alfred. great three that you actually like. Yeah. And then Alfred. you go Akane, Pongo, So Saber. Yep, yeah. you're all yeah. set. And then you had... Um, yeah, Alice in this set. Oh, Doreen the Thruster. Doreen, yeah. Doreen the oh. Thruster. That, that's good. That's good. And you had a bunch of other jingles. Yep. But yeah, the Dimension Police got released today. You got Dayusha. <laughs> right, Dayusha. And it was like impossible to hit. It's like. <laughs> no, not playable at that time. Yeah, so I don't know. So Brewster Pack 3 seemed like kind of a downgrade. Have like mm. nice, like cool, some cool cards. You definitely have gimmicks in the game. It feels less vanilla when this set came out. Yes, yes. So I, I guess. I'd probably give it like a. I'd probably give it like a six. Six or yeah. Six or seven. Seven. Mm, I'll give it a six. Give it a six. Okay, I'll give it a seven. I'll give it a seven. Like at the time, I guess yeah. It, it, it's it's got some nice cards, but over time, this uh, is where it probably stops. Like, sort of loses value over time. Yeah. A lot of the cards from this set gets replaced by better cards over after that. Like um, the only good thing is like Palamedes and Tsukuyomi, yeah. right? Yeah. So, a lot of cards that were good during the release, but. but not didn't do a lot. Did a lot. So I'd probably give it like, like a five. Five. A five. Five. Yeah. yeah. Agree on a five. Yeah. So okay. So over time became a five. Uh, now we go into one of. Ooh. Yeah. Really hype set next. It's called Bring Eclipse of Illusionary Shadows. Yeah. Uh, this is the Shadow Paladin Clan. So everyone got into play. This is the set that catches all the players just because how crazy the cover art were and, my God. Third block looker was so so so. So it cool. looked really cool, and the effect was okay. Yeah, the effect was okay. <laughs> but it looked cool. It looked but cool. They they all look amazing, and yeah. the SPs for these cards were. I remember the first PBD that went on for. Yeah, that was crazy prizes. And then it's yeah, like yeah. Uh, Blast of Dark. SP was also yeah, pretty Yeah, SP, uh, Mahar SP in the main pretty SP. Pretty much every every Shadow Paladin SP. All the SPs on this set are most of them. Were pretty amazing. Yeah. And then apart from Shadow Paladins and Sternball mm. Kruger, that was like everyone's favorite card, and Commander Laurel. Ooh. Now, <laughs> Spicy. that became a pretty crazy card later on. Uh, then apart from that, nothing else. You got Kagero. <laughs> you had Amber Dragon cards. Man, they were terrible. more like a colony. More Mega Colony. Yeah. More Mega <laughs> Colony. <laughs> definitely tried to make the Green Clans work. Uh, um, oh, the Green Clan at the clan. time. One, one clan. One clan. Well, so... <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, so this set, I don't know, on release, it sounds pretty high. It was, it was, it pretty, was pretty high. Yeah. Definitely pretty high. Um, so, but over time, the right chains get a bit iffy. You don't release really Nah, the, over time, I think this set suffers really badly over time. But on release, <sighs> on release. On release. Mm. Is it hitting nine? It's hitting no, nine? Not quite. Not nine? Okay. Art wise, yeah, I'll give it a nine, but. I'll give it an eight. eight. Eight? Eight, okay. You can you still see the Royals being played during this set, so I don't think okay. it goes that nine. I'll give it a seven. Obviously, I, I, I'm not that into Shadow I'm Palace. biased with the You're art, biased. So he, He's biased? He's I'll, eight? I love He has his turn book, yeah. Yes, so I'll give it so an eight. So I'll give it a seven. But over time, this, guy, this is like a four or something, right? This is like, all of these cards just... They don't really get used after a while. Yeah. Um, I, think, I think it's yeah. a four. I think it's a four. Unfortunately, it's it's dropped. I want to give it a five, but I think I mean, it's, if, it's just Commander Laurel. Four might be more fitting. Yeah, I'll give four. it a four. Let's give it a four. Okay. Sorry, guys. So next set is actually one of the worst sets uh, in this block, and that is. Uh, hold on, this became V Vanguard. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Extra Brewster Comic Style Volume One. Mm. <laughs> so if you've never heard of it, don't worry, guys. You don't miss much. Yeah, this is the this is the first Extra Brewster in the in the game, and it was. It looked cool, but it wasn't um, that cool. You, hey, if we say the card oof. names here, right, you, you'll recognize them. Right? Imperial Daughter, oof. Twin Swordsman Musashi, mm -hmm. Dueling Dragon Zambaku. Perfect Riser. Perfect Riser, yes. Unfortunately, these cards were all pretty terrible. <laughs> <laughs> At the start. The, the best card to come from this set is probably Cat Butler. <laughs> Whoa, that came a long way. Hey, later on, when Legion was released, Cat Butler that card was broken. Was broken. <laughs> that was <laughs> got restricted. Broken. <laughs> yeah, but apart from that, everything else is pretty jank. 
So Kagura mm-hmm. gets Velocity Dragon, which is kind of used, kind of half not used, because <laughs> it has a counter charge effect. It was, yeah, gimmicky. Yeah, yeah, that's it. But then apart from that, nothing else, right? Like, if if you think of mm-hmm. Zambaku now, right, you're like, wow, that, that card that is broken, right? But if you listen to what Zambaku was back then, it was pretty much the same effect, but if they discarded a card, they could just rise straight up. <laughs> so, at that time, it was good if your opponent writes the wrong grade 3. Think about it. <laughs> if your opponent writes a, the wrong grade 3, then it becomes a good Then they would have to discard a card to ride, but who cares? You didn't get any force markers or anything. <laughs> so, it was just useless. And then they introduced this like new new uh, new mechanic called Restraint. Oh, yeah. Which was like a, a downside you got. Technically, your cards are stronger, but they had restraints. You had to get rid of restraint by like, like soul blasting or doing mm-hmm. something, counter blast or putting this. You had to pay a cost so your vanguard could attack. Oh now, yeah, imperial daughter. Imperial daughter got the crit. Yeah, the crit. <laughs> and then it's like prowling dragon trigger. So prowling dragon trigger was was kind of a meme card. Had restraint. Your opponent had to boost to attack into it, or it probably didn't hit. And then when you were on top of it. You gave it 5k and a crit. So if you gave it something like the end, it could restand. Yeah. With a crit. It could restand with a crit and just kill them. But the problem is, it didn't do anything else. It was just, it was just really terrible. It provided pretty much a dot card. <laughs> so, okay, so this set, pretty meme set, has some big names because you use them later on, like Golden Beast Tamer. Come on, man. Oh. But then, back then, this was like, it's like a two. It's like, on release, it's like a two, right? I, I kind of. I wanted to give it a 1, but I'm gonna give some respect to it, so... Um. <laughs> well, you have the cover card, that was... Zenon? Yeah, Zenon. <laughs> Zenon's probably better in this set than in the new set, because... Arguable. Yeah, the new card has to call from hand, I think, and this one doesn't. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> so, it's like a 2. Over time, I think it's like a 3, because of Cat Butler. <laughs> it's really because Cat, of Cat Butler is the only reason yeah. why I'm giving this at more than 1. Yeah. Cat Butler and Velocity Dragon. Velocity Dragon is like a kind of, but uh, Cat... Cat Butler has more weight than that. Yeah. It didn't get reprinted much. It was so hard to find that card when Legion was out, <laughs> so... I'll yeah, give okay. it 4 of all time, okay, four. just because of Cat Butler. Because yeah, you're biased, because you play Nova. Oh, yeah. no, Nova was the best. Yeah. Was. Bias. Okay, so now we're going to the last plan today. Uh, Huh. Booster Pack this 5. This is a very interesting set. I yeah. remember this set. Oh. Awakening of the Twin Blades. Yeah. Okay. This is a value set. Uh, Just is... looking at this list. Oh my <laughs> god, this brings back time. This is a broken set, man. That's one of this, yes. this is so, so the mechanic <laughs> in this set is cross rides. And cross rides was a big thing. Cross rides was the best thing, to be so honest. At that time, um, Vanguard has, has this problem of if you draw multiple copies of your grade 3, they become dead cards unless you play those. 10, counter plus 1, plus 3k, yeah, boosted with yeah. an 8k, so hit their 21. That was a big thing. But if you write them, you're pretty stuffed. Set 5 was the first set where they actually um, give you that option of, oh, if you write another grade 3, you actually get some benefit out of it. So you... <laughs> this is where Vanguard starts, guys. This is where break right was the thing, superior right, um, striding, all the rewriting to get um, your markers, this is when they actually give you oh, benefit benefits yeah. for rewriting grade 3. And like, the, the funny thing is, right, mm. so now you have weird numbers. You don't have 10s and 11s anymore, because back then it was like like 10k, <laughs> even 9k base. Like Musashi back then was like a 9k yeah, base. Yeah, 9k grade 2. <laughs> yeah. So increase. these changed that. So MLB, Majesty Lord Blaster, was a 12k, mm-hmm. and then Phantom Blaster Overlord and Dragonic Overlord, the end with 13k bases. Mm. And the funny thing is, like, every other clan had to now play vanillas yes. and vanilla 8k's to hit those 13k numbers. At that time, all your effects, uh, effect grade 2, were 9k. Like 9k's. They're and all 9K. Effect grade 1's were 7k's. So they only hit yep. 16. They and 16 is fine against 11. Perfect, yes, against 11k. But once you fight any of these 12k or 13k, suddenly they all it's become useless. sub 5k guard. <laughs> And then Alpha becomes good again, because it always hits 18 and 20 yep. without any boost. If you can't go up, something you just gotta hit a bit lower. <laughs> and, and, and the best, and the best, the funniest thing, right, is these three clans got their cross rides, mm. and then they got grade twos that hit 12k. Yep. So they could more easily hit these cross rides, yes. while everything else couldn't. So what we're saying is, unless you play these three clans, 
don't play Vanguard at that time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you had Wingle, Wingle Brave also oh, came off of this. But that, that, that card is legit. legit. And at that time, you can search a lot of things, like Blasted Mameshi Bar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you can mix clans, you can search that out. And then, yeah, the Shadows got like something like Nightmare Painters. Well, the Painters oh, yes. got released. Painters got released. Yeah. At that time, there was a pretty interesting concept because you can write the 13k first and you Shop call your Mahar, call your Painter, and shove the other grade 3. Yeah. Put it in and in, yeah, instant 13k, 13K against a grade 2, potentially. <laughs> it was yeah. pretty brutal. Yeah. And then this set also had some other. Okay, so this set, right? The Tsushiomi also got its mm-hmm. third crit. Mm hmm. And then it got the target to Hime, so it, 12, oh, yeah. it hits 12k. Yeah, 12. So now, now uh, Tsukiyomi was really strong. Uh, basically, it was playable. Yeah, it became very strong. Trust me. You could like you could sit on grade twos to increase your mm. stack, and then get double crits later on, and like you just increase your stack heaps. And then you also had the 12k hitters, so mm. it just felt nice. You could always hit those numbers. And uh, you had other clans that were released, like New Nectar. Okay. New Nectar came out, had Made of Trolling Rose. You got Hey Yo Pineapple, these crazy <laughs> good names for New Nectar. Yes. Uh, yeah, so they actually, it becomes like a full full clan, right? Mm. New Nectar, and it was like your budget clan, it was pretty budget. And then we saw a bit of Murakumo again, but uh, yeah, that's about it. it. Much. Yeah, it's, no Murakumo, it's Kagura, man. Kagura. <laughs> <laughs> All the overlords and the fan. So, yeah, these 13Ks, like the only clan that was not a cross ride that was still incredibly relevant. And later on got restricted was uh, Oracle Think Tank yes, because of Tsukiyomi. Yeah. So, judging from this, what are we giving this set on release? You gotta give a bit more respect that this set has Overlord in it. Yeah, and and it, that card gets used for a long, long time. So, this is spoilers, right? This set, if you, if you played The End, or Tsukiyomi, or like MLB or anything like that, any of these clans, you didn't have to play set six, seven, eight until nine. That was pretty much a solid one year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you buy set five, you get to be top meta in Vanguard for a year. Yeah. So on release, I think this is a solid ten. This is actually a solid ten. Well, there's no much ma- there's not other not many other sets that stay in the dominant rank for as long as this set. So I think ten is actually yeah. scarily quite deserving. Yeah. And then over time, your Dragonic Overall the end and stuff and Wingle Brave is still used. Yes. Actually still used. And actually becomes very valuable if you crack multiple copies of them back then because you do need multiple copies yeah. of Wingle Brave. And, and then yeah, people did ran multiple copies of Wingle Brave, funnily enough. So over time as well, it's because this these clans actually lasted for so long, I'm giving it 10. I'm giving it straight up 10. <laughs> you didn't have to buy any new cards. For a whole year, when you when you bought this set, bought this set, I just thought like giving sets a ten out of ten. That's just me. But if I can give it a nine point five, I'll give it a nine point five. But we don't do point fives here, so I'll give it ten. Alright, ten. All right, so double ten. Double ten. This is this is it, guys. This is the perfect set for Vanguard for a while. <laughs> so uh, I, yeah. So actually, I think this is a this is a good good point to end it. We're reaching the limit break era very soon. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you if you actually like this nostalgic content, let us know. We'll make we'll keep on progressing. Uh, and then yeah, anything you'd like to say? Step five. Step five was broken. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm, broken. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys next video. See you Bye. next time. Bye.